Alright, so we got Gothic Remake official deep dive trailer. Now, THQ uh, trailer literally came out. Oh now, my gosh, that's loud. THQ showcase came out yesterday. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna do most of the trailers today. Oh, wowzers. Welcome to the Valley of Mines, an What's immense up? penal colony. I think eight's the good. Eight's fine. The, orcs, the only undefeated enemies of the kingdom of Mertana, the king needed ore to supply his armies. So every man guilty of a crime, no matter how insignificant, Wait, was what? forced to work in the ore mines of Corinis. So I could steal a Snickers and to I'm make working it down here? for them to escape, the king sent out his best magicians to create a magical barrier around the entire valley. But something disturbed the creation of the barrier, uh -oh. trapping everyone inside. Uh oh! The convicts revolted and took control of the colony. They divided into three camps. Uh oh! The old camp is satisfied with the current situation. As okay. long as they deliver the ore, the king supplies them with everything they need. Okay. The new camp, however, thinks they can use the ore to blow up the barrier. And then there is the sect from the swamp. The sleeper. They believe that a mysterious new deity will free them from their prison. Okay. Thus begins your journey in the open world of the Valley of Mines. Okay. Creating Gothic remake, we focus. Oh, y'all see the rain on the screen? That, that was crazy. The core of the series, simulation <laughs> of a that was living Drew McIntyre. World, exploration, <laughs> story, <laughs> and combat. Oh, like wait. the original 2001 title. Gothic Remake is set on creating an immersive and realistic world. Enjoy a complex life simulation on a scale uh, hardly ever seen Smoking the cigarettes! During the day, the inhabitants of the colony carry out a variety of activities, while nature, rich in all its diversity, go kill a croc lives from Batman. its own rhythm. All this gives the impression that this world can exist without the player. Ugh. Explore the colony on your own and enjoy the unprecedented freedom this open world offers. In true RPG fashion, you Ooh. decide when and where you go next. Bro, I love that, bro. Numerous I love that, bro. The rain on the screen is hard. Inner motivations and earn their respect by completing a series of elaborate quests. How you solve or handle Ooh. their problems depends entirely on your choices. No matter when, in what order, or if you do anything at all. The game will always respond appropriately to your decisions. Oh, okay, I, I like that. I like that. A complex and demanding combat system with satisfying character progression. Overcome your opponents using a variety of melee weapons. Eliminate them from a distance, or learn the arcana of magic. We can use magic too. Remember that each type of weapon behaves differently. Its effectiveness depends on training. Ew, ew, step, bro, step on it. When creating a remake of a beloved title, it is hard to live up to the expectations of its long term fans. However, we feel there is room to develop the experience further by telling new stories. Oh, from you the can swim in this game? And expanding on those that diehard fans have known for more than two decades. 20 years is crazy. We are also focusing this our looks attention great, on though. enhancing many aspects of gameplay. This looks great. Such as diverse NPC routines and reactions, more complex crafting, and more rewarding character progression. Okay. Despite the passage of time, Gothic remains in the hearts and minds of many players. With the possibilities of Unreal Engine 5 and uh -oh. a variety of modern features. Hey, Unreal Engine Gothic is definitely Remake carrying, bro. Soon rekindle that love. Whether Sorry, you've been a loyal fan for years or are just looking for a true RPG experience, welcome back to the colony. You know what? Hey, let's give a hand off for this. Because listen, I'm going to be honest with you. I have not, first of all, bro, I haven't seen THQ in so long, bro. It's, bro, it's been, oh man, it, it's been, it, bro, it's been years, y'all. Like, I'm saying, like, the last THQ game that I've played, bro was like Nintendo 64 days like when I was like when I was like four or five whatever like obviously like I wasn't born in like the 90s or whatever like I'm not you know I'm not I'm not old um but, <laughs> but um, when I was like four or five six years old I had a Nintendo 64 that was actually my second console that I've ever had in my life 
and I was playing games like Diddy Kong Racing. I was playing games like um, Killer Instinct and stuff like that. But um, bro, I I I think I was playing like other um, and obviously like Diddy Kong Racing and, and and Killer Instinct. Those aren't like you know THQ games. I was just like naming games or whatever. But um, it was this game that I literally I don't know how I remember this. But I used to play this game called uh, Jeopardy. Obviously, we all know the, like the game Jeopardy, whatever. But uh, Nintendo sixty four had a game named uh, Jeopardy, and bro, I I don't know why, bro, but I remember uh, like the THQ logo on the Jeopardy game. Like whenever I think it was like during like during the, like the like the startup, I think. Um, and I don't know like if I play like other THQ games, whatever. But I literally I vaguely remember me playing like that Jeopardy game and seeing THQ like the THQ logo in the game, but um. But, bro, I haven't seen THQ in so long. And the fact that they actually had a, a a whole, like, you know, conference, like, not even a conference, but, like, a conference slash showcase or whatever. The fact that they had that yesterday, bro, when I saw that pop up, I'm like, wait a minute, THQ, bro? Like, bro, I haven't seen THQ since the 1800s. Like, that's crazy. Um, but, yeah, so, apparently this game came out uh, in 2001. This game is officially older than me. Um, and to be honest with you, it looks pretty good, bro. It looks really good. Um, let's go back to some. Yeah, bro, this looks really good. Obviously, this is the remake. This dude right here looks like Drew McIntyre. Um, this looks really, really, really good, bro. This looks really good. One thing that I do love also is when, like, whenever these games have, like, rainstorms or snowstorms. Not snowstorms. Like, rainstorms and, like, you know, thunderstorms and stuff like that. Bro, the fact that they be having, like, rain on the screen, that's absolutely crazy. I love that detail. I don't know what it's called, but, bro, that is crazy, bro. Other than that, listen, they have different forms of combat. I like that as well. I've never played this game before ever in my life. Uh, but this game, knowing that this game came out in 2001, this game is officially older than me. <laughs> older than me. Um, but, bro, like, a lot, I'm guessing a lot of people liked it, bro. Like, looking at, like, how many people liked the video and stuff like that, I was like, wow. Like, I, this game must have, a lot of, like, older people must have played this game, um, you know, back then or whatever. Because uh, it got, like, a lot of, good, a lot of you know, support off the bat. So, other than that, man, hopefully you guys enjoy my reaction to this. I, I really think that... I'm going to be honest with you. If they come out with more remakes, bro, bro, I need a Diddy Kong Racing remake immediately. I need a Diddy Kong Racing remake. Bro, Nintendo, I don't care what you got. Bro, buy the rights. I don't... Bro, bro, do what you got to do. But I need a Diddy Kong Racing um, remake immediately, bro. I don't care. Oh, oh, there was one on the 3DS. Bro, I don't care about the 3DS. I want one right now on the Switch, bro. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to, you know, crash out right there. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel if you guys did it. See you guys later, check them out, and...